I cannot stand there and not making any remarks. So let me continue with my congratulations, because yesterday at the IMF office in Washington, the other review was approved on the staff level on the tsunami's economic reform. And that's good news, because there's a signal from an international institution that we are on the right path after three and a half years of our administration that we went through a multiple crisis with tremendous impact on the community, on the society. My people, our people sacrifice, but yes, we are out of the deep crisis and on a part of economic growth now. So this meeting, this conference is very important when we enter the third stage of our development after the recovery stage, the stability stage, and now we are engaged in a stage of economic growth. And if you read the report of the IMF, their projection is 3% economic growth for this year. Starting three and a half years with minus minus 16%, and now here we are. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> yes, you can applaud yourself. <laughs> Once again, welcome, and it, give, it gives me a great pleasure to be here as president and to address you to the SEC Local Content Conference, the conference with the team local content development for economic growth. And that is crucial for all the major players in the Suriname energy industry. The market is potential, enormous in Suriname, and the potential goes beyond the oil and gas industry to include a variety of sectors. Sectors as infrastructure, transportation, information technology, food and beverages, entertainment, housing, labor, and small and medium-sized enterprises. Yes, there should be frequent structural consultation between the local content board, the multinationals, and others, because we cannot develop the local content policy isolately. You need to do it with the public sector, with the private sector, with the international companies, but moreover, with our people. Our view as government is an ambassador. We make it very easy for the world. And it announced that at the International Oil and Gas Conference in Guyana last year. Maybe you don't have a law like Guyana on the definition of local content, but we do have a vision. We do have a strategy on local content. And for foreign companies, it means local content is every company registered at our chamber of commerce. That is local content. So if your company is registered here, you're local content. And you can benefit from all the opportunities and the incentives. And I don't know if a representative from uh, Petronas is here, but we get a request from the international oil company Petronas two weeks ago that they are ready to start with their exploitation on the gas in block 52. They're also engaged in 53. But they are looking for incentives from the government and they presented a request on getting the exemption on the income tax. And we approved it as government this Wednesday. 
and the government counts that this is the type of incentives we are giving because we can consider them also as local content. They are registered here. So, that's the time inviting all the companies. I was last year in the United States and had addressed a very distinguished council, diplomatic council, you know it, with the captain of industry. And after my address, in which I explained Suriname, the opportunities, the business, the local content, the oil and gas. And there were three companies there, Coca-Cola was there, Newmont was there, I think Apache was there, one more. And they encouraged the meeting also to invest in Suriname. But more than 90% of the captains of industry were present there. They were not aware where Suriname was. And they heard of Suriname when the oil and gas was discovered. Oh, it is here. I thought it was there. <laughs> so we have to do something also on the side of the private, private cooperation. We have very strong cooperation between Suriname and United States on the level of government, on the level of government institutions, on the level of public sector teams, but there should be more engagement on the private, private sector. 